new ideas are fine, but they are also illegal. So listen, do you mind if I ask a few questions? It, it shouldn't take much time. Great, because we actually have someplace important to be, so if it would speed things up, we're happy to waive our right to counsel. Wow, counsel is C word. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you guys in law enforcement? No, no, no. I just, I have a buddy who's a detective in the NYPD. Ooh, I bet he's better than me at getting people to talk. Everything I know about interrogation, I learned from the newlywed game. <laughs> <laughs> so look, why don't you just each write down your answer to these questions? Okay, question one. Um, what were you gonna use the guns for? Okay, and then we'll read them out when you're done. Hunting. Hunting. Okay, you see, I know you boys around the level. Okay, uh, question two. What do you hunt? Deer. Grouse and other small fowl. Oh. Yep, we hunt everything, you know, deer, grouse, a horse once. Yes, we love killing any animal. Oh, I hear you. Okay, question three. Uh, you said you had somewhere important to go, so where exactly is that? Dinner date. Dinner date, that's what mine says as well. Sorry about the handwriting. <laughs> Point is, neither of us are lying. Should we just pick up our keys on the way out, or how you wanna do this? No one has ever beaten the newlywed game. No one. Hi. We received the call. I don't know anything about that. We were tipped off about a possible narcotic situation. Here? Hey, Pam. Hey, I got this, OK? Hello, officers. Dwight Fruit, former volunteer sheriff's deputy. Listen, I may have inside information that someone is hiding drugs in this very office. Just pretend like we're talking until the cops leave. It's real cops, real guns. I wonder what's going on. Officers, I reveal to you the perpetrator. Hey, what is this? Search his things. Sir, can you step away from your desk, please? Why? Sir, please step away from your desk. Hey, what's going on? You hey. don't have my permission to do this. They don't need your permission, Flenderson. They've got the company's permission. Hey, hey, what are you, why are you doing this? Uh, you know what? I think this is, I, this is probably a misunderstanding. Yeah. Don't search my stuff. Sir. I have a reasonable right to privacy. You save your whining for the jury there, Flenderson. Yeah, let's Michael. just cancel this, okay? Sir, did you recently return from a trip to Central America? Oh, oh my no, God, no, no, there no, was, no, I no, went no. to Costa Rica that was, for that a That was legitimate. Months. That was what totally legitimate. Really? Check this out. Oh, God. Oh. That is not mine. Oh. I have oh. no, 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 no. What no, is God. going on here? No, that's, I don't know what that is. And I bet he has nothing to do with that. Ah, that's mine. No, Michael, no! Yes, it's mine. Some basil. And salad dressing, I think. Salad dressing? Yeah, it's a caprese salad. It's a little bit of uh, mozzarella right there. Are you kidding me? It's my salad. So wait a minute, there's no drugs? No. Oh, damn it, come on! Oh, we got a fake tip. Wait, officers, are you sure you don't want to interrogate him? No. You have laws that protect you in, in any kind of interrogation. Why don't you use them? You must feel pretty good about yourself right now. I didn't put caprese salad in my drawer, Michael. Mm. Did you? Since when is it illegal to put caprese salad anywhere? Hello, France. Mm. You guys enjoying that cheese? It's unpasteurized. Uh, what's that mean? Unpasteurized? I don't care. I don't care. Technically, it's illegal in this country. Smuggled a bag from Paris. The boys in blue. Ah, <laughs> uh, what can I do for you? For we got a tip about some food entering the country illegally. No, 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 no. It's just cheese, guys. Uh, I got it in France. Okay. Did you declare it on your customs form when you re-entered the country? We're going to need you to come down to the station. I'm sure that's not necessary. Let's just. This is really good cheese. You should try uh, some. Are you trying to bribe us? No. Oh, God. I surrender. Step forward. OK. Thank you. OK. There you go. We've got a couple of customs agents coming down from the border, and they are not happy. I can't believe this. I never break the law. I've never even jaywalked. Never. I mean, I, I, I everyone does it sometimes. Just add that to the charges. Well, 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 we got a hit on your prints. Seems as you're wanted for tax fraud in Colorado. What? I've never even been to Colorado. I mean, I had a layover in Denver once. Man, you can't keep your story straight, can you? Come on! Oh, here come the customs guys now. Fellas, he's all yours. Come on! <laughs> you prince! <laughs> on! You gotta see the stupid look on your face. Check this out, I took a picture. Classic! You seemed a little uptight. Thought we'd have some fun with our new boss. Wow, this, you got me. Good one. 
making me think I was gonna like die in federal prison. And, ah, that's super funny. You scamps. <laughs> You know, everything in here has a story. Like, this hole punch? Okay, it's only supposed to be able to do 18 pages, but one day, I got it to do 25. Mm. I went straight home and made love to Jerusha that day. Well, that's a story I'll remember. Oh, yeah. You like it? You should have it. Oh, uh, no, I, I... Oh, no, come on, please. You love it. Take it. Um, if it gets a hole punch, can I get this bag full of cash? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, that's my rainy day fund. Corporate sets aside a certain amount of the budget for miscellaneous maintenance. So whenever we don't use it, I just take it out in cash and set it aside. You know, just in case. But they think you spent this on maintenance. Yeah, and I would have if I needed to, but I didn't. So just leave it there for the next manager. So you told them you spent money you didn't spend. Mm -hmm. Then you took the money and kept it in a bag hidden in your office. Yeah. Isn't that embezzlement? No, embezzlement is when you put jewels on your jacket. I think you mean bedazzling, which is also a crime. I don't know, B. What if it doesn't work? Hey, we thought of everything, except for an alibi and an escape route, but we'll figure it out as we go. You don't want to overthink these things. I'm kind of freaking out here. Pillboy, I got you. This plan is foolproof. And when it's over, we can finally have the lives we deserve. DiGiorno, I am a safe installer, here to install the safe. So just a point to where the guacamole money is, and I'll uh, install the safe in the, how you say, a uh, place. Yeah, hi, we're being robbed. Oh, gee, they're on to us, man. His hat's a golf ball, and he's got a terrible mustache. We need to get married now. I do, for uh, always and forever. I do. All right, everybody, there has been a lot of name calling against our office today. Corporate maligning, slurring, much of it coming from one of you who claims that prison is better than here. And none of us can say boo because none of us have ever been to prison. Well, there's somebody I'd like you to meet, somebody else who has been to prison who can tell you what it is really like. I'm Prison Mike! You know why they call me Prison Mike? Do you really expect us to believe you're somebody else? Do you really expect me to not push you up against the wall, biatch? Oh, yes. Yes. All right, hey, 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 that's just the way we talk in the clink. Been a lot of fun talk about prison today, but I am here to scare you straight. I am in Escalia Street! In prison, you are somebody's bitch. Oh, and you. You, my friend, would be the belle of the ball. Don't drop the soap. Don't drop the soap. Michael, please. Where did you learn all of this? Internet. So not the prison. And prison, it's 50-50. Both. Look. Prison stinks, is what I'm saying. It's not like you can go home and recharge your batteries and come back in the morning and be with your friends having fun in the office. What'd you do, Prison Mike? I stole and I robbed and I kidnapped the president's son and held him for ransom. That is quite the rap sheet, Prison Mike. And I never got caught, neither. Well, you are in prison. Mm -hmm. Prison Mike, what was the food like in prison? Gruel. Sandwiches. Gruel omelets. Nothing but gruel. Plus, you can eat your own hair. Wow. Prison sounds horrible. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Andy. Thanks. Prison Mike, what's the very, very worst thing about prison? Don't encourage him, don't. The worst thing about prison was the... was the Dementors. They were flying all over the place and they were scary and then they'd come down and they'd suck the soul out of your body and it hoit! Dem Dementors like in Harry Potter? No, not Harry Potter. There are no movies in prison. This is my point. You guys got it soft and cushy. This place is freaking awesome. The people are awesome. Your boss is nice. Everybody seems to get along. People are tolerant. People who have jumped to conclusions can redeem themselves. Nobody's, nobody's bitch. I hope that this scared you. 
And from me, Prison Mike, to you, I just want to thank you for listening to me and letting me be a part of your life today. Because you got a good life. You got a good life. A good life.